Hey everybody, Mark here at Gilbert Realty. It's been a while since I made a video. I've been so busy trying to get my uh, brokerage going to Florida. Had to go through a bunch of training, get stuff done. Um, then it's been a 10 month process of trying to get approved for um, to be active and ready to go in Florida. It's been insane. It took me probably five months to get documentation from New York just to be able to get my company in Florida. Um, New York just held everything up. So there was five months right there. Um, but, you know, even when I did, I got the, the company ready in Florida. It's ready to go. I got my brokerage ready. I signed up to the local association outside of the villages. And then somehow or other, my login to the MLS got mixed up with someone else's. And that was it over two and a half weeks of them trying to figure out what happened. And they couldn't figure it out. But they did at the end of last week. And I'm back and I'm on. And I'm going to be able to show you some of the things that the MLS can do and how to find some good deals on the MLS. And what we do as experienced agents, at least what I do, is to try to find some good deals for people who are looking possibly for a discount, maybe for something to rehab, who aren't afraid to put some elbow grease into them, right? So, you know, that was the biggest thing. One thing I am noticing throughout the area is uh, listings are way up, um, especially in the MLS and uh, the villages there's a ton of listings going on these are just existing homes and i see these existing homes creeping down through newell all the way all the, already into denim um a lot of these along here i think that's the a pitch and putt they have right there that's going to be all these are you know these are not even a year old some of these homes and they're already for sale so it's kind of kind of interesting to see what's going to happen in the next month and a half What's going to happen to inventory if it's high now? I mean, homes still, some of the homes are still selling. You can still pull them up, the, up on the village's website and you can see what's going on. But the differences between the MLS and the villages is the MLS, I could do a lot more searching. I get a lot more information. Villages tends to hide their information from everybody. I understand why. Okay. I get it. But it's really hard, I think, personally, I think it's hard to find a good deal in the villages. Because you just they just hide so much information and data from you. But let me show you some other things too. Is that I was on foreclosure.com. They did an interview with me, my bald head in this video. They did an interview uh, with me uh, about two weeks ago. Went on there. It's a number one performing video in the last uh, five or six um, people they were interviewing. We talked about a lot of things. We talked about the Florida inventory. We talked about the real estate in general. Uh, Tim was a great guy. Foreclosure.com has a great website. You can go and look at some investment properties at their site. Don't be afraid to stop by there and take a look. Uh, but you can go there and watch that. I'll put the link to this uh, video in the comments down below. So feel free to go check it out. I had a lot of fun doing that. It was really nice for them to invite me on. And uh, hopefully they, they call me back at some point in time. But another thing is that we have now which is going to be active here in the next week and a half, week, week and a half, we're having our website that's coming together. Um, not only did we have to struggle to get our company in Florida, but then, you know, the idiot that I am, I went and I said, hey, we're going to upgrade. We're going to update all of our stuff, update our systems, put in a new website. We're going to put in a new CRM and some management for our agents. And this all-in-one system is pretty amazing. This website is not live yet. It's still on the server only at the company, but it will be soon. If you go to my website now, gilberrealty.com, because I didn't have the MLS, my login got screwed up. None of the Florida listings are on my current website, but that will change here in about a week and a half. Pretty soon you'll be able to go to our, go to our website, gilberrealty.com, and you will be able to search New York properties up here up top. Florida properties, open houses, what's going on from the MLS. You'll be able to search all of Florida's foreclosures and you'll be able to search every listing in Florida um, that are active and available in the MLS. You'll also be able to come on here and, and go and pick and choose uh, your home valuation. Go in there, type in your address and see what your home possibly could be worth. It takes an average, takes all the listings that sold around your house and takes an average what your home could fall in at. And also, feel free to take a market snapshot. If you have a certain area you're looking and moving to, um, doesn't really matter. Type it in there. Type in the villages. It'll pull up a market snapshot of the villages. 
Pretty cool. The home valuation will work anywhere in the United States. So it doesn't matter if you're in California. It doesn't matter if you're up in Minnesota. Um, it doesn't really matter where you are. It could be in Texas. That home valuation can give you a general idea of what your home may be worth. And I do find that it's getting more and more accurate over time. A bunch of other services we also do, which are relocation services. A lot of people are looking to move. I get some phone calls where they're looking to move from another state, moving into the, into the villages, possibly selling some other property. And that can be very stressful for most people. So what we do is we offer a relocation service where we actually find the realtor for you. We negotiate a referral fee from that agent. And then we pay you money back after we do it. So if you're going to do a listing in your area, you might as well have us find you the agent. Or if you have a really good agent that you plan on using, let us know. We'll sign a buyer's um, um, referral agreement with them, and we'll give you a percentage of the commission back. Great way for you to keep some of your commission when you sell. Um, so that, there's a bunch of things coming on. You'll be able to see our team. We also are bringing on a new agent in the villages. She's great. She's recently been in the business for about 14 years. She is going to help us grow in that area, add on agents for us, train them, show houses. She's a wealth of knowledge. I'm very happy with her. Um, uh, she just really impressed me. I can't give you her name yet, but she will be on with us here in the next couple weeks. And that's really going to take our level of business to a different star, to a different planet. In the sense that now she's going to be able to help you. We're going to be able to use her to utilize showings. And uh, I think you'll be very, very happy with her. So let's see what else we can move on to. And let's take a look. Okay, today I want to review the MLS. This is the back end of the MLS. Now this is called Stellar MLS. I also have an MLS in New York. It's the same software system. Just owned by a different company. So let me show you how MLSs work. They're, they're owned locally typically by a group of brokers or a group of somebody investors or something, but typically by brokers locally. And there could be numerous MLSs across the state. I know in upstate New York, you could probably find 15 to 20 MLSs. Some of them play nice with each other. Some of them do not play nice with each other. Um, some of them share listings with each other. You have the ability, for instance, in Syracuse where I am, uh, we have an office. We can go show houses in Rochester, Buffalo, Utica, all over the place. They can do the same as well. But there's also areas where, for instance, if I want to go up in the Adirondacks and I want to show a house up there, they have their own MLS. And if they have a house on their MLS, it's very difficult sometimes for me to get in. So the MLS has really divvied up a lot of the pie between all the houses. And that's kind of how they work. So some states are pretty good. Some states don't have a lot. Most states have quite a few MLSs divvied up between their local realtors and their local brokers so i just let you know that's how that works stellar mls is a pretty big mls it goes from ocala north of ocala all the way down to tampa all the way from east to west coast so you can have over i mean if i did a search for all properties we'll come back there's too many properties to to, to view that's how many properties this mls has in their system um, so it's pretty amazing. So what I can do is I can go in here and I can select um, a type of property you're looking for. Obviously, if you're looking to buy something, I'm going to go in here and search for active. Maybe you're looking for that property that just didn't sell. I can also go in here and I can search expired. And I can change the date that I'm able to search this. So let's say you've been eyeing a property that expired you know, last week and you want to know what's going on with it. I can go in and type zero to seven days. And if you look down below here, let me move my microphone a little bit. You can see down here, it's only one in the last seven days. But if I go back 30 days, okay, this is four expired listings in the villages because I selected the villages here. But if I remove that, there's going to be hundreds across the state. So that's a beautiful thing. So if expired listings, I can do pending listings, things are already under contract. Uh, withdrawn listings, we don't really play with them because they're still under contract. They're just withdrawn for the moment. But for active listings, I go in here and active. As you can see today, the Villages has 396 listings right now that are active. And let's see what's pending. 
active and pending together 593 so active homes are ready for sale ready for someone to move in and purchase this property or 396 now again this doesn't include the villages website right we are we all know that by now um, which is going to be another probably thousand at least minimum in this area um, and that does not include new homes okay so new homes are again a totally separate lot but again over here if you look we can search by mls number price how many bedrooms you need baths half baths you name it we can search it um and that's a beautiful thing we can break it down by the type of home the style of property we can go into even into a property description um, i can break it down by subdivision or development and what i like to do though is since i get a lot of phone calls no matter where i am on investment properties again a lot of phone calls of people trying to find some deals and you know you can find some deals in the villages if you do you know, if you do a little research, they don't make it easy to find stuff in the MLS. And let me tell you what I mean. is that it, There's additional fields here, and I've added a few. But if you go in here and take a look, there's, there's a couple hundred at least, minimum, of additional fields that you can go in and play in. And they're all not self-explanatory sometimes. So those that's half the battle. And you have to go through and kind of pick and choose each one. And the other thing is that even though my MLS in New York is similar to this MLS, they call some things in New York a little bit different than what they Florida calls them. So I had to thumb around in some of these things and try to figure out what each one is. But, you know, me, I'm a pretty persistent guy. So for me, I'll figure it out anyways. But if you look here, what I like to search by, and we all know, I've been mentioned many times in my videos that I think Prices are still going to be coming down, especially after next month, middle of June. I like to search by list price per square foot. I love it. And now we all know that used homes or existing homes are coming down on price. They're down below that 250 a square foot. So what I like to do is say, for instance, we're looking for, you're an investor, or you're just someone looking to, to purchase a home at a slight discount. You're not afraid to get dirty. You're not afraid to put work into it. So if I go in here to list price per square foot, let's say I do $215 a square foot and below. That's that little negative is for, okay? I have 43 matches in the villages. Now I can come up here. Now let's say that you don't want uh, mobile homes, modulars, which I can select all this stuff. Oh, shrink that back down. And I can select manufactured homes, mobile homes, if I don't want these. Okay, I'm just going by example. And let's say I don't want those. So now we're down to 25 matches that we know are stick built or block built below $215 a square foot. So let's look at these and where they pop up. So as you can see, so you're going to bring us here in the villages. There's the villages. As you can see, if we start taking a look at some of these properties, um, this inactive has been on the market since January for $335. It's $1,611 a square foot. And let's see what's going on, just out of curiosity. Um, it's listed by Weikert, George Miller, and all realtors. Let's just see. So let's see if anything special. Realtors remarks. Okay. So there's not much going on with this, but it says here, are you ready to make the villages? Welcome home. The home offers two beds and two full baths. Kitchen is nicely spaced. So let's look at his listing here real quick. And let's just see what's going on and why it's relatively cheap compared to some other spots. Um, you could tell the carpet needs some replacing. The flooring is going to have to be redone. Some of the outside is going to need some pressure washing. It's kind of older cabinets, um, lower end appliances. So you can see on this property right here that this home needs paint. It's got scuff marks. This home needs work. So this could be a major opportunity for somebody if they can buy it right. And plus, on probably that phone I could get for you for free if you make an offer on it, right? There it is, buddy. All right, we can make an offer on that. Um, we can come in here, hopefully make maybe make a good offer on this property and see if we can pick this up at a reasonable price that makes sense to where you can throw a little bit of money into this and you got yourself a nice home. This is not that bad. It will not take that much to clean up this outside. And actually, the landscaping is actually pretty good. 
you pressure wash this, this uh, driveway and do a little pressure washing on the outside in the garage, this thing is uh, this thing will actually look okay. So right now this is at two hundred and eight dollars a square foot. That is well below what most homes are selling for, um, in really nice shape. Okay, so that's just one way we could find you some opportunities. Now let's go up here. And again, I customize my MLS quite a bit. So as you can see, if I search over here, see if I can move my head out of the way. I think I'm in the way here. Okay, so as you can see over here, I can search. These are all the listings that popped up, but they're in, they're in one big line. You can see the addresses here. So you can see here, we're down, this one here is down about 200,000, 169 a square foot. 180 a square foot 185 now me personally what I would do is I'd go through each and every one of these look at them for you and just see what's going on with these properties why are they cheaper than others selling in the same area this one's $1,700 a square 1700 square feet even at $200 a square feet this is a 340 house okay so now there's not too many foreclosures in the MLS at all I think I found one and probably it's probably one of these but I'd go through each one of these, see what's going on, just to keep an eye. Now, this house isn't too bad for the price. It's got a fenced yard. The flooring's okay. But you just really don't know until you actually get in these. Okay, it's got some older cabinets and fridges. The countertops are nice, though. Those are relatively newer quartz. So as you can see, we would go through each one to take a look. And that way, you're going to get a deal that makes sense. Okay. Um, these are good areas. I like these Kirk driveway homes. I always have. Some people give me a little bit of grief about them. I just like them. But this house was built in 2002. It was listed last June. This is going on a year. And it's not the realtor's fault. This is just a house that needs a little bit of work. But if you go through each one of these, and the bond's paid. All right, quartz countertops. Let's just see. I don't want to show the realtor private notes because there's something in there possibly. So as you can see, this is just a way for us to find out what's going on. We can also check flood maps, see what's going on there. Is it in a flood zone? If it wasn't a flood zone, it would pop up. It'd be a bunch of blue on the screen right now. It'll tell us. So we can search where flood zones are, okay? Um, that's parcel map. Let's go see if there's any flood near us. And there isn't. So this is all relatively dry, good area. We can see the history of this property and see what's going on. Like I said, this was listed back in June of last year, 374. It's already down to 320. 274 days on market. Again, it's not the agent's fault. This is just the way the cookie crumbles on this one. But maybe we could find you some deals that make sense and potentially get you some equity in these properties if you're not afraid to get a little dirty. Okay? So that's just one way to look at it. Um, let's go back and let's look at a few more. Let's see if some of these cheaper ones. Juneberry, 169. What is this house? This is a pretty cheap house for 169. It's got a fenced yard, vinyl siding, tile floor. This is actually a clean house, but you know it needs updating, right? Like the cabinets are pretty, but you know the countertops, the refrigerators, the appliances. I mean, they don't need to, but people are going to want to do that. You can definitely tell the floor you need some updates. I need some painting. Um, one of the things I saw is uh, one of the speakers were sticking out of the ceiling. I think they have speakers in this house. But you go through each one. You can take a look, see what everything's going to cost. And the beautiful thing about buying a property, maybe to fix up for yourself or to fix up and try to sell it, you know, retail, is that the villages don't have basements. And if you're familiar with the north or rehabbed houses in the north, Majority of your, of your issues in a property start in the basement, especially here, because there's a lot of water. We have multiple winters are hell up here. We have a lot of snow. We have a lot of rain. It's very wet, very damp, and everything starts in the basement. So if you have a dry basement in New York, that's a plus. Typically, the house above the basement is in good shape. The villages don't have basements, okay? So you have different things that could affect the house, but you have that high heat and humidity, um, we tend to get that in the, in upstate New York and other areas, but just not as long as you guys. 
So there's pros and cons, but we have extreme seasons up here in the north that tend to affect our house a little bit more. But no basements really makes a difference. So when you rehab this house, it's a lot cheaper to do this. It's, it's a one floor. It's a ranch. It's quick. It's easy. You're in and out. I mean, it's a really good crew can have this house done in what? A month or less. I've had people that where I can do this house in no time at all. They'll have this done in about two weeks. Working every day. Okay. But that's just one way. Let's go back into some other ones. Let's take a look. So this is 179 a square foot. Look at this house. 2,000 square foot. 360. Oh. Why is that popping up there? Oh, yeah. 179 square foot. So that's right. So this is 2,000 square foot for 365. It's way below the $200 a square foot mark, right? So no bond, fabulous block and stucco, 3-2 Veracruz designer on De La Vista Golf Course. So what's going on with this? Nice driveway. Cute. You can tell it needs some work. Okay, kind of cute. It says it's on the golf course. I'm interested in seeing that. So you can tell it needs some updates, countertops in the... Appliances, some of the flooring. Oh, woo! Look at that. Holy cow! That you know, it's like it reminds me of Willy Wonka in the movie. That could be like a Willy Wonka bath bathroom. Okay, let's keep going. Where are we going? Let's try to find the golf course view. Okay, so you got a little private. There's no uh, lanai here. Doesn't mean you can't put one in though. This needs some pressure washing. Okay, you ran on the golf course. Why isn't this home sold yet? Let's take a look. Is it a foreclosure? Is it a bank owned? Who owns it? It's another thing. This is what we do. We just got to figure it out. No. So it's not a bank owned. It's in a family trust. So it looks like some, see uh, the owner's siblings or relatives are selling the property. Okay. So anyways, this is just another opportunity for you. This, this is actually really cheap, this house, for the size of it. This one's 185, 194. Let's look at some big ones here. So 2,100 square foot, $200 a square foot on San Pedro Drive. Who has this listing? Um, Steve Savage from Realty Execs. Let's take a look. Three beds, three full baths, custom designer with no homes behind you. No bond. Upgraded to Royal Palm model in the village of Rio Grande. Pretty. Look at that. Like that. Okay. Huh. Look at the dolphins on the door. That's kind of nice. So, well, okay. That's nice. So you're not going to get the modern touches in some of these homes. But, you know, some of the older model homes, I just think are really nice. Like they have the custom, the built-in cabinetry. Um, I do like the curve. They'll have a different style doorway, a cathedral doorway. They'll have some kind of curved doorway. Sometimes the molding's different. Actually, if I think if you threw molding in this house, because the ceilings are somewhat bolted, it would have come out really nice in this. So, kitchen cabinets look okay. They're not great, but they're okay. But you still have a little Eden Island here. Appliances are a little bit older, but they work. They're using one of this as an office. I do like the doors that open like that, the French doors. And it also has a dining room. So, if you're looking for a house that maybe needs a little bit of work, that is right now sitting at $200 a square foot, and it's been on the market since March 9th, which is about a month tomorrow, Maybe this is your opportunity to get something halfway decent. Um, now, let me talk to you about making offers. I get a lot of responses from people like, you know, it doesn't look like realtors or the villages want to negotiate on price. It's not their job to tell you what to submit as an offer. And it's not their job to deny your offer. Their job, by state law, by rules is if you have an offer to make, they should make it for you. Now, if you have representation, then you do it through them, okay? But they have to submit your offer to the seller. Any other agent telling you different, get a new agent. 
call us. We'll write it for you. Okay? That's what I mean. Don't be afraid to make an offer, especially after it's sitting out there for six months on the market. If it's a home is sitting on the market in the villages for over six months, then obviously it needs a little bit of work and updating, most likely. I doubt there's structural issues too much, unless there's a sinkhole, just because there's no basement. And don't be afraid to write an offer and put it in and see what happens. The worst they could say is no and possibly renegotiate. Okay, here's another one. Look at this. Now, how much is this? This is 289, built in 98, active days on market too. So that means that the realtor put it on two days ago. But if you look down below here, I assume that's combined days on market 88. That means I've done it a few times in my video where the realtor takes it off the market and throws it back on. Okay, and they kind of try to refresh everything in some of the websites, but it doesn't really work because, again, we can see it here. The MLS has caught on to that a long time ago. So this home really has been on the market in a couple more days, 90 days or three months, okay, even though the on-market date says today. So those are things you have to look at, and those are things we try to keep an eye on. But back on market after some home improvements, okay, so that kind of makes sense. What they did is they, you know, maybe did some updates, probably had some people through it. Probably got some feedback, okay? And maybe they threw it back on the market and maybe trying to sell it. They possibly could have lowered the price, which I will check for you. Um, there's nobody living here. This house is way too clean and too few furniture living there. But let's see about the history of the property. Let's see what's going on. So it closed in 21 for 250. Told you that peak of the villages was what? beginning to mid of 2022 so they bought this home. luckily they bought it at the right price i hope they listed this baby in january at 309 it's down to 299.9 but they took it off the market they canceled it and then they put it back on the market for 289 so 309 299 to 289 as of two days ago so hopefully they can get this sold the realtor and um but again this is just a potential opportunity for you to come in and maybe pick up a home at a relatively decent price and throw a little bit of elbow grease in it to make some money on it. So those are little things we can find here. We can search in the MLS. This is where realtors really make their money. Any, a realtor that learns this system is worth their weight in gold, without a doubt. A lot of realtors, you'd be surprised, don't, don't even know that if I go back here to criteria up here, don't even know that there are additional fields, nor have they ever even looked at them before. They just think that all these fields here are the only thing you can do anything with, and that is not true. So there's a bunch of stuff here, but again, every MLS is a little bit different. You just gotta play around with them, see what each one pops up, and uh, you'll find it. But here's another opportunity. Let's say we take out that 215 a square foot, and there's 375 right now. Okay, and again, remember, I took out manufactured homes, mobile homes. Now, I can also search public remarks, right? So sometimes you'll see on the MLS, you'll see in the public comments, motivated seller, right? So let's type in motivated. And we got six matches where the realtor put in motivated seller. And if I come in here, let's take a look and see why they're motivated. So here's one for, two, for 275, just got marked down, 133 days on the market. It's a cute little home. Okay. Obviously, it needs a little bit of work. Maybe they rented it out and lived there for a long time. This house needs some work. I will say it's overpriced if it's motivated. Um, let's take a look. Let's see here. Square foot. So built in 09, not too far. 275 on market in 816 of last year. 237 a square foot. Uh, two beds, two bath. The motivated seller bring all offers. The, the Colony Patio Villa is located in the village of St. Charles. Unfurnished 22 Colony model. Beautiful large kitchen, like cabinets, vaulted ceilings, carpet and living room, bedroom areas, washer and dryer are located in garage. Great location between the 466s, okay? Short distance, Lake Sumter or Brownwood. 
So there are some opportunities here on this one too. It says bring offers. Yeah, it's a 275, but throw an offer and see what happens. Maybe you can pick this up. I'm sure the realtor would love an offer on their desk by morning. And again, this is just one example of what we can find for you in the MLS if one does their homework. Okay. Um, let's look at a couple more. This is another one for a 328 square foot. This says motivated. Motivated seller, roof is seven years old, hot tub and fenced backyard, easy golf cart ride to Lake Sumter, uh, Brownwood, Havana Country Club, great restaurants. Live your best life in this exceptional home in the 55 plus community. Okay. Uh, okay. If you suppose so, taxes are 3200 That may change. Okay. So what do we have? 375 9 it's 328 a square foot. Motivated, huh? I mean, it's cute. It's got tile floor. Little islands, little area, small. I like this cab. These are new. This is that's just a, a dresser or a cabinet, separated. So let's see if we can get out of the kitchen because there's 24 pictures of the kitchen. Um, nice, nice color. Yeah, it's just dated countertops. Some tile could be updated. Some cabinets definitely could be updated. Not sure about paint, but I assume once they move all that furniture out, it's going to need some paint at some point. But I do like the fact that the back, it looks like the backyard is fenced in. That's kind of nice, right? It's got a nice backyard. Have a little bit of privacy from your neighbors. Um, yeah, fenced in. And it has a jacuzzi. Maybe that's going with it with a nice big, you know, it's got an extended uh, cement pad here. So this is just another, now I, I'll be honest with you. Now, I haven't seen this house. So I can't say it's overpriced or not, but just based on what everything is selling for, 328 a square foot is expensive for this size home. Um, I'm not sure what they're giving away. It doesn't seem like they're giving away golf carts, furniture, anything of that stuff. So that's probably why this one's sitting and it has been sitting there since November. So I could be wrong, but, you know, let's see what happens. Let's look at another one here real quick. This is 264. So this is 1248, 307, 245 a square foot. This is built in 03, 307, put on the market in January. 245 a square foot, two beds, two baths. Let's see what it says. Motivated seller and a great find. Design a burst. You know, I, hope, I tend to find everybody puts motivated seller in the prices. Their houses tend to be a little bit overpriced. And I'm not, it could be the seller. It could be they owe more um, than what the agents try to list that. You just don't know. You just don't know what they owe. It could be they did a you know, home equity. There could be a bunch of reasons why somebody has to price a home at a certain price. But they threw some money into this. Got a new roof, new hot water tank in 22, uh, new HVAC in 20, new portable AC for Lanai. Uh, painted driveway, new tile in the bathrooms, new storm doors, new toilets. Um, and most importantly, a super affordable move-in ready designer home located to P.O. Boxes and Calame Grove Pool. Okay. Uh, facilities of the Village's Health Mulberry Grove Clinic. So, you know, they're, they're touting their location. Okay. So, I mean, the yard looks well manicured. It's cute. Uh, hardwood floors. Not that vinyl, folks. Just remember that. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, hardwood floors are not that much more expensive than vinyl floors right now. I'm surprised they're not putting them in more. Unfinished hardwood floors. Okay. I mean, it's cute. It doesn't look like it's too bad. It's going to need some paint. Updated countertops, cabinetry possibly. Um, so, that's just another example of what you can find in the MLS. Let's see if I can search another way. Let's find out. Okay, so let's see if I can search from bank-owned stuff. This will be interesting. Um, let's search probate listings. They don't, not too many people put under probate, unfortunately. Let's search an option two while we're at it. Let's see what pops up. i got to delete some stuff here. I'm going to have to delete that. we got two. Let's see what else I may have to get rid of. Um... Does that change if I put or? Nope. 
Okay, so let's look at these. We only got two matches for foreclosures, and I know there's not ever too many foreclosures in the villages. But you have the village of Sumter on Juneberry for 169. You have one on Winchell. And let's see what this is. Who's the um, next home realty? Let me see if I can get the owner. Vacant owner record. So impeccably maintained, beautifully decorated turnkey Charlotte Courtyard Villa in the village of McClure. Convenient location. Turnkey. Bomb balance, 19,000. This is 400K of 1,500 square foot. Built in 19. It's a probate listing. So this is that means it's being sold by the family. They have to probably sell this house to A, get rid of it, and B, divvy up any kind of proceeds from the house to the family and probably also pay the attorney that could be handling their probate. So that's why probates tend to be pretty popular here. Um, in any 55 plus community, probate and estate sales are pretty big. It seems like a cute house. It's got a nice layout. I like the island. Okay. It's cute. I like the color. My cabinets my, in my bathroom are the same as us. Same brand. Same color. Okay. So it might have knobs on them. I don't know what's the deal with the people not putting knobs in their cabinets. Okay, so big walk-in shower. So this is okay, but I still think at um, 400K, 269 square foot, still a little, still a little high in my opinion. Could have something that we don't see, but that's just my opinion. Let's look at the other one here for 169 a square foot on Juneberry. What is this boy? Okay, we already looked at this one. So this one we know about. This one needs... Some work, fence jar, but this is actually a foreclosure, or may, it might be an auction. Yeah, this one's an auction. I don't do auctions, folks. Uh, sometimes you can find good deals, but typically the banks screw everybody at the auction, and you never really get a good deal to begin with. So that's what we can do, trying to find you, just having MLS access. It makes so much of a difference trying to find properties for people. And we can do it. We can find them all over Florida in any community. So if you want us to help you find some properties or get on our search list, if you're out of state, if you're in another state looking in the villages, you know, and you're on ZillowRealtor.com, ZillowRealtor.com and those websites are pulling from this. This is where all the information is. Um, if you call me and say, look, my budget's 600, 650. I'm looking at certain areas. I can go into the map and I can draw circles. I can do radius searches. I can find anything for you that you want um, in any little areas. I can go right down to, if we zoom in on the villages, I can go right down to a certain community. Okay, if I zoom in here, let's say you want to buy, uh, let's just try to find a good little spot here with a bunch of listings. Okay, this little area here, you know, which tends to be a little expensive in here, okay? Well, not that one. Morse Road, where are we? So I can go into this. Oh, that's what one. So I can go here. Let's say, for instance, I want to do this. You want to live in this little area because you got family there. Okay, I can go in here and I can take this and I can wrap around this little thing. And I can change it. And I can do a couple different ones. I can do that area. Let's say you drove, you drove around or did a lifestyle visit. And you like these little neighborhoods in these certain areas. I can go through and I can pick and choose each one that you like. You just give me a street. And I can pick and choose each one. And we can have, you know, as many neighborhoods as you want selected for you to decide um, if it's somewhere you want to live in these areas. And what we can do is then, is then we save this search. We go to new auto email right here. We click that. And then I add you as a contact, which I added a couple today. I add you as a contact. We put a subject line. And then every morning... We set this for every morning, every a.m. You're going to get updated listings on those areas, whether it's a new listing, price changes, something went from active to pending or pending to back in the market. You're going to get updates within those little areas, which really makes a difference. So if you're really serious about looking for a house, this is what you have to do. This is what I recommend you do. Um, so my email, my information down below. Feel free to reach out to me. You can always call me. We can have a chat. People do all the time looking in the villages, and I'll be happy to help you, okay? But keep an eye on the inventory in the villages. There is a bunch of inventory still going on. 
they still have a lot of new homes down here in, in Dabney and Denham they still need to get rid of. Uh, you know, they're trying to whittle their way through it. And they're down here, you know. They're still building in here, but they, you know, they still have a bunch of homes here. They're building at, at slowly at a time, just adding to the market. So there's a bunch of things. You're looking for new homes. You have to go through the VLS, right? We all know that. But if you're okay with trying to find a home, maybe what? Six months old, 12 months old, 10 years old. Then this is what you want to do right here. You want me to go through and create a search for you so that you get instant automated updates immediately. So anyway, so uh, check out our website when it comes out. I'll let everybody know. Um, as of right now, it's not out yet, but it will be coming. And we'll be able to get a bunch of links. You'll be able to go here, search. Plus, you'll be able to see all the open houses that are going on in New York, if you're here, and Florida. So anyways, Mark here. And also, don't forget to check out my video on foreclosure.com. Thanks, Tim, again for inviting me on. I had a great time. And if anybody has any questions, again, reach out to me down below. And I really do appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great evening. I'm going to go in and have dinner with my wife, maybe have a glass of wine, and I will talk to you soon.